let's go ahead and power it up, put it somewhat back together, power him up and see what happens. Let's actually check the MOSFETs because that's always a good place to start. Uh, well, fuse is always the best place to start. But, um, so I need to go from the heat sink. Okay, so battery went flat, so let's sort of try and get a few more things a bit quicker. And me stop rambling on so much. Uh, 14 mag gate, 14 mag, the second one, it's the same point anyway, 15 mag, and oh wait, obviously I have to change heat sinks. Fifteen meg. Fifteen meg. Cool. Okay, so our fuse is good, MOSFETs are good. Let's throw a screw in. Okay, so do 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 plug the power wires back in. That one, uh, I really don't think I need this one, but plug him in, um, mains in, mains out, we probably need our front panel. When I turn this on, we're not touching it because um, that would be bad, because <laughs> there is basically pulse DC which is never fun. To touch, uh, I have actually uh, got a good shock from one of these um, sort of inverters. So I'm touching one thing and the battery. So um, yeah, always, always careful of the um, if if they have capacitors in them. But this one doesn't have any major storage capacitors. And it seems to work. Um, so that's cool. Um, let's pull the power off him. Um, generally, I, I prefer just to pull the DC off rather than turning off because uh, it helps sort of discharge everything that might be on. Uh, this this one doesn't have any storage capacitance at all. Um, so it's not so much of a worry on this unit. Uh, I've got other units that lit that have a 450 volt DC bus on them. Well, they're not 450 volts, they're split. So it's like 250 positive and 250 negative. That doesn't make sense, but... Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it's got a split. Um, so I've got others Cool. Alright, let's go to AC. Um, let's just throw that on there for you guys. Um, okay, try and not short the battery out. So I think it's just a dicky connector. So turn on, on, and we have 230 40 volts. So 240 volts AC. That's awesome. So um, for all, for all I can tell, I think it's this connector here that connects to the front panel is a bit dicky, and that's all that's wrong with it because it's running fine. It's running good voltage regulation on it. It's a bit all over the place at the moment because it's got low load, but that's great. That's an awesome candidate. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to 
um, repackage, fiddle around, change things, um, heat sinks, well look into the MOSFETs, um, those source, those gate resistors have to go on. So yeah, it's a, let's see if we can make this 750 VA unit, so 420 watts. So 420 watts, um, yeah, it's not the most convenient of devices. I've got other modified ones that are smaller and don't have a pretty hefty transformer on it. So, um, but hey, um, it's free. It's 420 watts. That's useful. So yeah, catch you later. Hope you enjoyed it.